Okay, guys, for this episode, what I'm going to do is take you through what happened the weekend because they came through in the rampage. Now, at this time, faces is changing up rapidly. It's a revolving door. Inmates coming in and out. Some of them you know. Most of them you don't know. Our way of living inside of this prison will never be the same after this weekend. And you'll understand why when we go through the episode. But first, we got Sha Smith, Petty Officer, Carla Blackman, Phyllis Jackson Husky, Courtney Carter 318, Ontario. Carter 318, Lionel Lee, Yvonne Wilson, Pat Watson, Michelle Lott, Brandon King, Vernetta Collins, Gregory Tucker, Miss G, Angela Goldthree, Jason Bryan, Belden Jones, Robert White, Tone the Barber, Shamika Smith, Tammy Kelly, Dee Dee Carter, Dwight Gale, Stacey Richardson, Mama Mary, Auntie Fabian, Solomon Kenner, Megatron, Darius M, Marcus Holder. Now, if you donated but didn't hear your name, just hold up because it's coming. And some of you guys that I just call will be hearing your name again because you always donate multiple times. I appreciate you guys and let's get into the episode. Get up! 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 Let's go! Oh, get up! Get your ass out here! Oh, you need some help, huh? Now we woke up and you can hear that it's COs everywhere on every line, every block. And Hubbard comes on our block waking us up, getting them to beat us up. They tossing dudes out the cell. Everybody got to lick this day. And plus, this dude smoking a cigarette today. Mm-hmm. Come on. Listen up, inmates. I got something real good for y'all today. We initiating a new program called Operation whack a -Brown. And we will perform Operation whack a -Brown whatever time we see fit. Mm. Now I see y'all looking clueless. What is Operation whack a -Brown? Turn up, yeah. Freeze! Huh. Also want to introduce y'all to the most disciplined outside storm team on the map. When he say what is Operation whack a -Brown, we see COs come marching in. Hold your sound out. I see some of you inmates that got real comfortable and cozy around here. But guess what Operation whack a -Brown is? Oh! Let's show them. You got 90 seconds to get back in them cells and rip them mats off the right and get back out here. Go, 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 Everybody dumbfounded. We don't know what's going on. So everybody run back in their cell with them right behind them, pushing them faster. Rip their mats off the rack, come back outside and drop them in front of them and stand back there. Now the whole storm team got their orders, their groups, and their assignments. Move out. MA 5025618. Come with me. Every CO got his own on assignment sheet, they get to calling us and we all go into different groups. Keep in mind, this is happening on every single block. Once they get to calling everybody and we all in our different groups, I'm looking around and I notice they ain't called none of the old heads. All right, fellas, we going this way. Move out! Storm Officer Garza just tells us we walking towards Childway. Dudes in the line saying, man, they about to go put us on lockdown and they taking block by block to different places and locking us down. Everybody got their own idea of what's happening. We don't know full for sure what's happening. I got a good idea. Hold up. All right, inmate. So our first stop is on H and he called his inmate named Alfred. H8 is your new home, son. My new home. It's your new home. What part of that you don't understand? Now move your ass out my line. Move it. It's at this point that everybody realized we all get new sales and new sellers. Now I want to prepare you guys for something. Up until this point, I had never felt no anger about this joke until this happened. Now when I tell you this trigger something inside of me and my anger was on full blast, I just stopped really caring. Now we going block to block dropping people off and when we get to L, I hear my name. Yes sir, L18 son. Now when I walk in my cell, it's only two of my cellmates that's been assigned already and that's Carlos and Dante. Now because it got multiple inmates with the same name, if I don't specify, then it's a new inmate and he haven't been introduced to you guys. So I head to my cell, I'm putting my stuff together. First I put my mat on the rack, then I start putting up all my snacks, my toiletries. No man, not this dude. Then they say they ain't transferring nobody. They gonna have to transfer me because I don't want to be over here with it. I'm in my cell and I'm in organized mode. And I hear a group of inmates outside hollering about, no, not this dude, man. I'm ready to get up off this line already. Big Kendall? When I pop my head out the cell, I see them bringing Big Kendall. They put him in L3 and I'm in L18, so he a good little ways away from me. But I go back in my cell and start organizing. Say, man, no, bro, what they trying to do? I hear these same inmates. Oh, what up, man? Oh, what up, boy? Now, they do a signing for the better part of the morning. So after I get my stuff together, I go stand outside my cell because I want to see all the dudes they bringing on this block.
Looking at nigga. So I see this dude. He about a little bit bigger than me. He come walking on the line. His name Chomp. He looks at me and asks me what I'm looking at. And they putting him in cell 16. Now this dude Chomp from the very get go. He was giving out predator vibes. And we see a bunch of more dudes that come on this line. Giving out predator vibes. Now we just sitting out here watching each group come in different times. And dropping off inmates. Alright listen up inmates. Now that you all have been put on your lines, these are your permanent homes until we initiate Operation Whack em Round again. So I want you inmates to know for today and today only, I don't want to see any inmate off the block that they was assigned to. You are to stay on your block all day today. We will be doing bag lunches what, and man? sale checks oh, no, all man. day Point today down, just man. to make sure you inmates abide by these rules set forward. And we put these rules in place for a reason. Now I want you guys to have a good day and we won't have a problem. Now while the warden on the intercom, I'm looking around and and guess who I see? One of Brock homeboys, the one we got into a fight with. For all you guys don't know who Brock is, this the guy who was punching Roderick in the face when I got over there. Me and Mari end up knocking out two of his homeboys. Now this the homeboy when we was over there, he was meat right. Now soon as the warden finished, dude hurry up and strike out in his cell. We just caught eye and ain't too much come from that, but I could tell something on his mind how he struck back in that cell. I'ma fast forward all the way up to noon child when the bag lunches start going around. Trustees walking around giving everybody on the line they lunches and you hear dudes and I'm talking about multiple dudes. Hey little homie, let me get that bag lunch, bro. I'm gonna eat this homie. Hey man, let me get your bag lunch, bro. I'm eating my lunch, man. Now like I said, a lot of dudes asking for other dudes lunch, but they taking the no for an ounce. Now it do have a couple dudes that get a lunch away, but it got this dude named Tall Mike. Let me get that little nigga. This dude Tall Mike in the cell right diagonal from me, so I see with my own eyes when he snatched the bag lunch. Hey, what you did? Man, I'ma eat my food, bro. Nigga, if you don't get on my face, nigga, I'm eating this. Mm. Tall Mike just took that nigga food, man. Some nigga just egging Tall Mike on how the Tall Mike just took this nigga food. But I'm looking at Lil One. Lil One just in his cell rocking. Shit, let me get that juice pouch because I know you ain't gonna drink this. Taking Lil One food wasn't good enough. He had to take the main juice pouch too. I'm still eating and I'm watching them at the same time. And I see Lil One rock get faster. His face look meaner. <laughs> Now everybody run out to sell except Lil Wayne and Mike. Oh, let me do this. Eat my food. Look at Lil Wayne in there giving it up to Mike. You got dudes standing in front of the cell enjoying every minute of this. And this is what Lil Wayne did as soon as he finished or got tired of poking Mike up. My food, I'ma eat my damn food. Oh boy, he done poked Mike up and started eating on Mike. Now everybody talking about how cold Lil One is cause he done poked Mike up and started eating. So dudes walking out cause Lil One in the cell eating and Mike down there leaking, gasping for air. This how insane shit is. Dudes done walked out, went back to their cell or whatever they was doing. Lil One in the cell eating. Nobody went and got no help for Mike. This is when they found Mike. Hey, where the red show at? Huh? This your ability. We just got here on this line, but somehow C.O. Lathamore, he coming down the line handing out certain dudes cheeseburgers from McDonald's, that world food. Let me get one of them things, C.O. Lathamore. Should have put your order in early. He getting closer and closer down here, and dudes starting to scat that way. Where Bailey at? Where Bailey cell at? I know he on this line. Now Lathamore popping his head in and out of different cells looking for this old head named Bailey. I ain't about to keep looking for you. Oh, you mother... Request a backup and medical to L now! Once he radio for backup, he just give dude burger to some random inmate. Bring your ass out that cell or I'm coming in there! We sitting there waiting on Lil One to get out that cell, but Lil One's scared. He ain't moving out the cell. Say, Lil One, come on out that cell and cuff up for the mother COs get there, bro. Damn, Lil One, come on, bro. They gonna do you bad. Hey, Lil One, man, come on. You got buku inmates trying to coach Lil One out that cell for the other COs come, but he still ain't moving. Shh! Huh. Oh, I told you when I see oh, dude, who you move? Oh, oh. Oh. Now the more spray Lil One with the mace then run up in there and start beating Lil One. He beat Lil One for about 10 minutes for another CO show up. Move, move, get back in your cells now. Get back to your cells, go. CO Rogers and another CO is the second COs to arrive. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh.
Now when C.O. Rogers and that other C.O. get here, they run straight in the cell. Now he already on the ground, cause Lathamore done subdued him. They run straight in the cell and start hitting this little man. Now I can see everything from my cell. And they hit this dude and his neck just snapped. Ooh, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Think this guy is really hurt. Hey, go out there and watch the inmates. Now they send the C.O. that came with Rogers outside, standing in front of the cell to keep an eye on us to make sure ain't none of us eavesdropping. I still can hear what they saying and all I can hear is medical this medical that because now you know medical on their way as well so medical get their medical going to sell medical trying to run the aid to both of these guys but we hear medical say both of the guys gone now i can clearly hear medical when they ask the ceos what happened here and they get so low start whispering we can't hear nothing the ceo saying then finally medical wrap these dudes up put them on a stretcher and roll them out and the ceo walk right on side of them talking this the shit that's happening on my first day on airline i'm a fan Fast forward up only 30 minutes after the COs and medical leave. You don't know what you talking about, Tone, man. You ain't never, ever in your life did that. But I always had more money than y'all niggas. Bitch, boom, 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 boom. I come outside my cell and the dude named Tone and McCray, they on the hall punching each other down. Now the dude McCray keep dropping Tone every time he get up. Get up, come on. Pow, 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 pow. Tone hit the ground again. Oh, get up again then. All right. Pow, pow. Tone hit the ground again. Tone getting up again, but you can see he about ready to quit. About to finish you now. Boom. <laughs> Oh, oh, I threw my shoulder out of place. Oh, I threw my shoulder out. When Tone seen that boy's shoulder come out the socket, it's like he got a burst of energy. Now, dude walking around hollering about his shoulder out. He done threw his shoulder out of place. Oh, man, go hit the intercom for me, bro. Uh-huh. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, Tone, bitch, my shoulder. Yeah, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Tone ain't trying to hear nothing that boy got to say. Boom, 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 boom. Bam, 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 bam. Boom. Boom. And here come the COs. Dude's way down there on the other side. Yeah, here come the COs. And I swear this just what Tone did. Come on, bitch. We gonna finish it when the COs leave. And walk McCray in his cell. Now, when the COs coming down the hall, it's two of them. And I hear them calling my number and my name. Hey, that's me, COs. What's going on? Oh, you'll find out. I need you to back up and cuff up. To save time in this episode, I'm just gonna tell you what happened instead of taking you through the whole motion. So when the COs come in, they get me to cuff up. And they take me to the warden off. When I get to the warden office, he hands me a piece of paper and tell me to sign it. Now, when I look at this paper, it got complaints. Long arm tucker, skinny, munchy. All these dudes had them when reported to the warden on me at one time or another. Inmate, I find it real strange that all these guys who came to me and reported about you, they somehow deceased now. I'm going to tell you person by person, the dude skinny me and him was in another prison together. I was close by when another guy turned him out and he figured that I should help him. Yes, I could have, but I made the choice not to get myself involved in nothing, Warden. Warden, but I never laid a hand on Skinny. I never knew he hated me this much until now. Well, well, I can understand that, son. Now, me and the dude Tucker, we bent enemies. We was in that same prison with Skinny and me and this dude to fight all the time. And when he got turned out by one of his relatives, he came in here on a whole different wave frame. He thought I still had beef, but I ain't speak not one word to the dude. Now, the dude Munchie wasn't nothing but a bully and he had enemies is all over this prison. Now, I stood up for myself when he tried to take something from me, but at the same time, I ain't do nothing to him. Hook, line, and sinker. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask around and then I'll get back with you. But if I find out any of this you telling me is a lie, your ass going back in that shower. Hmm. So after that, he radio back out to the CO. They come back in, cuff me up, and take me back to L Block. The whole way walking, I'm just like, man, these coward-ass boys went up there making reports on me. So I get back in front of my cell. They on cuff me and I walk in my cell. Hey, I'm sitting on my rack and I see somebody zoom by, throw a letter in the cell and strike out again. Oh shit. Now when I open up the letter and look at it, it say Clovis on D block, Thomas on E, the brother on A block. Now I have been worried about this the whole time because I had no idea what all of the fellas was. Now this was a big relief that the fellas got this note to me. Now I know where everybody at. Man, you better go ahead, boy. That's me, boy. I didn't hit my point. That's me.
Say, dude, get my money, bro. We gonna hook if I can't get my money, bro. Now, I peep my head back out the cell, and there's two more dudes I ain't never seen. They out there arguing because they were shooting dice in their cell. Now, they outside the cell because one dude leaving with all the money. Man, come on, man. We gonna shoot this point over, bro. And after that, you lose this time. That's it, bro. We gonna just have to hook. So, these dudes stand out here and arguing for about 30, 40 minutes and don't do nothing. They end up deciding to go shoot the game over. Boom, get your pussy ass out my way, boy. What's wrong with you, homie? You trip. So the dude Trump walked past me and bumped me hard as hell and say, get your puss ass out the way. What you mean? What you wanna do? Nigga, what you wanna do? You bump me. What's that? We line up. Boom, bam. Alright. So when we line up, he swing two licks. He missed me with one and he catch me with the other. Now everybody out there, get him, Chump. You got him, boy. That boy hurt. Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, huh? Bow. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Say, man, you gonna hurt the dude, man. You gonna roll him out, bro. After this dude hit me and I felt his power, I already knew what it was. So when he came back in with that old weak ass lick and swung it at me and I moved out the way, I just went in on him. As soon as he hit the ground, I must have blanked out. Boom, puss ass, bitch. Huh, you wanna play with me? Bitch, huh? Now I'm beating this dude on the ground for a good little minute And I ain't hearing nothing at the time And then my hearing come back And I'm hearing all these dudes screaming and hollering Talking about I'm about to roll dude out But none of that still don't stop me You know what stopped me? Pick it up. Now, I'm in the middle of beating this dude, and I hear somebody say, pick it up. I can't believe it. For one, ain't nobody supposed to be the left off their line. And for two, night supposed to be saved. So I look down all the way at the end, and standing in cell five is night. So I make my way down there real quick. Help, help, help. Now, when I get down there, this dude hollered to the top of his lungs. I later found out this dude's name was Dale. Pick it up. Five, four, three. Two. Help, help. Now this dude hollering to the top of his lungs, but knife just still counting down. One. Uh, 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 uh. Knife went in this main cell and ran that blade in this main so many times. So when knife finished running the blade and dude, I'm standing right there. He walk out the cell. I'm like, hey knife, what happened, bro? This dude turn around, look at me, and just walk off. So now I'm walking back to my cell. I'm puzzled. I'm like, man, this dude was just talking about how good he feel and all this stuff. And now he here shaking the dude. What the hell didn't happen that quick? Now, I'm going to fast forward all the way up to lockdown. Now, at this time, I still just got two cells. It's me and them two, which is Carlos and Dante. So as soon as we go on lockdown, we just talk and talk and talk until we fall asleep. Bam, bam. Bam. The next thing I know, we waking up to somebody sound like they getting slaughtered. Hey, what's going on out there? All them niggas in cell six trying to beat that dude out his ass. Boom, bring your ass here. Boom. Hey, I'ma give it to y'all. Now they beat this dude so bad to this dude say he gonna give it to him. Bam. Look, we don't want you to give us nothing, we gonna take it. Then I hear this deep voice ass nigga say, we don't want you to give us nothing, we gonna take it. <laughs> Man, I didn't have my share of hearing this and seeing this, but this sounds like by far the worst, cause these dudes just wanna beat this dude and take it. So after a long, long, long time passed by what feels like a long time, finally they start going in this man. Now me and my cellmates, we trying to put the pillars over our ears, cause this dude hollering loud as hell. He begging them to stop that it hurt, that it hurt, that it hurt. And these dudes is merciless. They just humping and humping and jumping out and another one jumping in. Man, they stand this dude so long all you hear is like this dude wide open and they down there going crazy. Alright, New Jack, I'ma stop the episode here and we gonna pick up here on the next one.